And now, your first Alert 5 weather. How about some News 5 eye candy? What a beautiful shot that is. Candace took this beauty from Nancy Lewis Park after that rain early this afternoon. Outside right now, we've got partly cloudy skies. It's mild out there. 63 is the current temperature. Calm downtown out at the airport is South Breeze at 18 miles per hour. Also 63 degrees in the Steel City. Humidity is up there. We like to see that in our semi-arid climate. Please keep in mind red flag warning tomorrow, 11 a.m. through 9 p.m. for all parts of the News 5 viewing area. Area. Be very careful. Be alert. Certainly no outdoor burning. If you see smoke, call 911 as quick as you possibly can. Going to see a strong cold front blast through here Friday morning. A powerful upslope flow, some good energy with this one. So all the elements coming together for that storm we have waited for so long around here. But it is going to get a lot colder. As I said in the tease, about 50 degrees colder Saturday than what we'll have around here tomorrow. We're going to go from sweating to sweaters just like that. Dry most of the day, I think, on Friday. Then by Friday evening, going to see that snow move across northern El Paso County, Teller County, right into Colorado Springs. This is by 8, 9 o'clock. We will have wet, heavy snow falling across the city. Even in Pueblo, by early Saturday morning, I think you're going to see some snow. This model keeps that persistent upslope flow around here all the way into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So a long duration, exactly what we need to help mitigate that high fire danger. In the springs, I think two to five inches possible by Saturday evening. Evening, those higher five inch amounts, the further north you go across the city. And all of that is going to be on the uh, grassy elevated surfaces. A lot of that stuff is going to melt because we're going to hit 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Across northern El Paso County, I've got you in for six to 10. And in Teller County, there's the one you've been waiting for seven to 12 inches of much appreciated, very wet, heavy snow around here by Saturday evening. Afternoon high temperatures today, nice and warm. And take a look at this. A lot of the newbies uh, thinking that uh, this never happens, this snow across our area this time of the year, but it does. Three years ago on May the 20th in the springs, we picked up three inches. Black Forest had 19 inches of snow. Springtime in the Rockies, anything goes. There's a look at those temperatures today. Afternoon high temperatures topping out into the 80s. Outside right now, still very comfortable out there. We've got 50s and 60s here from the mountains to the plains. Lows tonight, crisp and cool. We'll have mostly clear skies. And around here tomorrow, wind is going to be the key player again with that westerly wind. That's really going to boost those temperatures up. That 90 in the springs will be a brand new all-time record high for the date. But that westerly wind also dries out everything. Humidity values tomorrow into the single digits. That's why we're going to have that real high fire danger. And again, peak wind gusts tomorrow from 30 to possibly up to 40 miles per hour. It is going to get crazy around here from Friday into Saturday. That strong cold front comes in, upslope moisture, rain changes to snow Friday evening. I've got the low Saturday morning at 26, Sunday morning 27. So if you've got tender vegetation in the ground, certainly need to apply CPR, cover plants rapidly. Awfully cold for this time of the year, but we'll start to recover by early next week. Pueblo those outdoor plans definitely going to take a hit on Saturday. 44 will make you want to hibernate inside the house close to the furnace vent. 44 would be okay for January, maybe December, but uh, certainly not in late May. Best window for moisture Friday night into Saturday. Rain changing to snow early Saturday. Could even be what I like to call snizzle. That's snow and drizzle. A little combo plate for you there. Canyon City, the picture I'm trying to paint for you is cold and wet from late Friday into Saturday. Snow showers possible early Saturday morning with very light accumulations. Storm will be a Saturday spoiler, but it's also going to mitigate that high fire danger. Woodland Park, we've been hoping for this one. Could drop up to a foot of very wet, heavy snow by Saturday afternoon. It will be loaded with water. That heavy snow could break tree limbs and cause power outages from Teller County into El Paso County. Updates as this one continues to move our way.